welcome friends uh, we have already talked about uh, the infection uh, of bacillus anthracis and obviously the pathogenesis now in this video we'll be talking about the treatment a little bit about the treatment of treatment of anthrax right so we'll be talking about treatment of anthrax now the anthrax are, uh, is of two different types, uh, cutaneous or subcutaneous anthrax and second one is the pulmonary. So let me write two of them. One is the, one is the cutaneous, cutaneous anthrax and the second one is the pulmonary, pulmonary anthrax. Now the first one or cutaneous and anthrax is the most common one it is above 90 percent or greater than 95 percent common but the mortality rate is very less uh, less than 20 percent but the pulmonary anthrax is very rare it is rare but the mortality rate is very high almost 100 percent if it uh, remains untreated right so in cutaneous in anthrax actually uh, simple bacterial antibiotics will will do the trick because in this case, uh, the antibiotics that we can use, so simply we can treat it via, so simply we can treat it via antibiotics. Now the antibiotics we can use for that are of three three different types. So if we are talking about the tetracycline, so you can use. So if you are using tetracyclines, tetracycline type of antibiotics, we can use, we can use uh, doxycycline. Doxycycline, sorry, not cycline. Doxycycline, doxycycline, and if we're using, if we want to use, let's say, macrolides, if we want to use macrolides, we can use erythromycin, which is a family of macrolides. So we can use erythromycin for the treatment. And if you're talking about the fluoroquinolones, so let me get fluoroquinolones, then we can use ciprofloxacin. So let me get ciprofloxacin. So. So this fluoroquinolones, macrolides, and tetracyclines, all of them different zones of antibiotics, and these are the name of the antibiotics. So don't don't mix this up. So these are the names: uh, doxycycline, uh, erythromycin, ciprofloxacin, all of them. And uh, for the pulmonary anthrax, uh, simple antibiotic treatment sometimes won't work because in this case these are very very fatal and dangerous. So multi-drug therapy must be taken in this case. So usually we must use multi drug therapy in case of the pulmonary anthrax or wool sorters disease now in this case we can use ciprofloxacin uh, plus rifampin plus vancomycin in most of the cases and nowadays this is the recommended format so ciprofloxacin ciprofloxacin along with we can use uh, what we can use rifampin and also along with that we need to use vancomycin okay so if we use the combination of all three drugs all, all together this is going to reduce the risk of pulmonary anthrax a little bit but the anthrax can be treated uh, and uh, vaccination is not a uh, present now. Uh, vaccination is also present. Not uh, yeah. Vac vaccination is also present. Uh, vaccination can be made or vaccine can be prepared from the protective antigen which is found onto uh, inside this bacillus anthracis. So we can use this protective antigen and use this protective antigen to produce a vaccine. So let me write it here. So we can use a protective antigen. protective antigen section to produce vaccine right so vaccination is available so that's a good good thing so we don't need to uh, bother about much about anthrax nowadays but still pulmonary anthrax 
is it right so you need to be very careful and obviously prevention is better than cure so you need to think about the preventing this disease by uh, good hygiene maintain and if you are having a pet in your house you need to be very careful to wash that pet and itself uh, hand wash before eating and all these things it will reduce the risk okay so that's it and i hope that's helpful thank you